Hi, I'm Amanda from Groovy Babies and I am back this week to answer um, three more special guest questions as part of Michelle's uh, Sleep Tight Babies VIP group. So thank you, Michelle, for having me back. So this week, uh, this first question is from Maddie Ivers. And Maddie has written, I have an eight week old who doesn't sleep throughout the day. I feed and she falls asleep. But once I put her down, she's awake in five minutes and won't resettle. She also has a very unsettled crying period from 4 p.m. till she finally gets to sleep at around 8 or 9 p.m. And then sleeps great, only waking around once at 4 a.m. Is there anything I can do to help her sleep through the day and avoid her unsettled period at night? Thank you. So, Maddie, yes, there are a lot of things that are going on here that you can definitely do. So the first thing is um, putting when you put her down, make sure that you are putting her down feet first, because if you are putting her down um, any other way, like head first or even shoulders first, often what um, babies do is um, they will definitely wake up but the reason why they wake up is because they have a change in blood pressure and also when you're putting a baby down uh, head first it doesn't make them feel like they are falling and they naturally will jerk and wake up now the second thing you're doing is looking at the timing of the feeding and the sleeping um, sometimes if they are falling asleep on the breast and that can actually be normal but what you'll find is they are just flutter sucking um, on the boob and then they are moving into their light phase of sleep and then if you um, disattach them and then go to put them down they are still in that light phase of sleep and they'll automatically wake up because they're sensing a change in the environment as well as being moved so often um, you need to hold them a little bit longer until they start to move into their non-rim sleep phase and um, that you can see that when their their eyes have stopped moving and flickering and they've stopped with their, their sort of little smiles and you know sort of that they're doing in those light rim um, sleep phase so yeah my advice would be either to really make sure she's not falling asleep feeding on the boob or you need to sort of wait that extra five or ten minutes until she's in that fully deep sleep before you can put her down if that's what you wish to keep on doing now the second bit is um, unsettled crying period from about 4 p.m. onwards. Um, this often is known as what's called the period of purple. So feel free to Google that. But it's, it is a um, time of day where children often will just um, be very, very unsettled. And no matter what you can do, they're... Um, there's no you know there's no rhyme nor reason and what it is it's normally to do with overstimulation you know at this particular age their little brains are really starting to awaken um, there's a lot of maturity that's going on they're starting to see color they're starting to hear a lot more um, their acuity of hearing is a lot more um, acute and um, yeah neurologically there is a lot going on um, so often to prevent that or to even lessen that bit I really recommend baby wearing I really recommend making sure that you're giving her the options to sleep at the right times through the day so you know often following those 90 minute biorhythms that they have at this particular age and don't be too um strict on making sure she's having a flat sleep so you know, um, cycle blend your sleep so you know maybe she might have one or two naps in her bassinet maybe she might have one or two naps in a carrier maybe she might have a nap in the pram uh, maybe she might have a nap in your arms like at this age it's okay um, it's okay for them to sleep in different environments because often they need that closeness they need to hear um, and smell um, their mum at this particular point in time um, as they're getting used to the new big wide world so obviously the fourth trimester um, have a look at the fourth trimester as to what babies need and want the other thing also is um, the right wrap often if um, you they've fallen asleep in your arms and then you move them then they um, are still not cocooned so you know often if they're getting ready for bed prepare them before even starting a feed so even that transition is a lot less dramatic for them so i hope that's helped um, answer some of your questions so yeah feel free to touch base if you need any further help to amanda at groovybabies.com.au or yeah, i've got heaps of blogs on my website about this um, sort of thing as well so www.groovybabies.com.au and uh, yeah a baby shusher that works really well for michelle cheers thanks <laughs>